Welcome to the tutorial about Linux Mint 18.1 XFCE. We are now working on another kind of distro. It's still the same brother, let's say, Linux Mint 18.1 Mate. We've made a lot of uh, tutorials about Mate and about the window manager, the possibilities of Compton and Compass. And uh, at this point in time, I have Compass active. And the thing is, I was um, reshaping my menu on Eric PE, and then I noticed that we do not have any installation tutorial about XFCE itself. So let's do and make this one about an, um, the installation of XFCE. So this is a tutorial about Linux Mint 18.1 XFCE. Next. We're doing it on VirtualBox and we have eight, eight available, eight gigs. So we're gonna give half of it to the system and we're gonna give um, around 20. Doesn't matter, around 20 is enough. And then the settings, we have a um, processor, one, two, three, four. So 50-50 display in the middle storage i'm going to put in an ssd but then an iso so a dvd has been loaded in virtually and that's set i think let's go and start it our engine has been started so we're gonna install this thing here enter enter there isn't actually a lot of uh, things to tell you about the installation of linux mint when you visited my website, you saw that I've already installed a lot of articles, uh, made a lot of articles about Arch. That's a completely different approach of installation. So this is graphical, uh, lots of uh, a nice image already. So we have a live version, we know what we'll get. But just by booting from a USB or a DVD, this is what you get and this is how it will look. And Arch is totally different coming from a black screen and formatting hard disks and so on activating swap it's a completely other uh, procedure to install so we're going to install it via clicking on install linux mint and you choose your language i suggest you take just english if there are problems you google the words and the messages you get and you get lots of hits less in your own language of course he knows that i'm in belgium and i have azerty so how easy can it be just follow him and login automatically is what i do ever if possible and that's it that's it the installation is now complete we can walk away and uh, wait for everything to be installed and then it's up to the rest of the tutorials to make xfc a beautiful system i'm not going to go over that uh, again why do i say again because this tutorial has been made on latest articles eric dubois here we have a new menu and it's called installation of linux mint so i'm covering the three of them the three are cinnamon mate and xfce so this is about XFCE and I noticed when uh, grouping, when making this uh, system here, this, this menu here, that I saw that things to do after installing Linux Mint 18, be it 18, be it 80.1, doesn't matter. We start straight away from this desktop. So in a few minutes time, we'll have this desktop. So I'm going to put the tutorial in front here. Okay, let's wait uh, for it to finish and then, uh, well, sign off. Like so. Almost finished copying files. Control F is the major key you have to remember. Right Control F and then the full screen is off again. Host F. And let's wait for the installation to finish. There we are. Let's restart again. Pressing enter. Mm -hmm. 
going to full screen don't want to see this dialog anymore next time and we do want to have an update of the my stability and security would be a good idea so okay if you don't want to do this don't suggest it So that's been done. Let's upgrade this, install the updates. And when that has been done, then the actual updates will come in. Which sounds logical. Let's wait for it. Okay, the installation has finished. And now it's uh, up to us to reboot and see that uh, the installation is now finished. So this is the installation. Next up, I would do uh, the kernel. And if needed, I don't need it, but if you need it, ATI, NVIDIA drivers and all that. And then if everything still works, then it's up to the icons, the themes, the software. Enjoy.